What is up everyone? This is Andrew of Beta AT Production and Publishing. In this video, I'll be breaking down the process on how you can produce music and beats in the style of Lil Dirt. Using the AT, the voice sample and MIDI pack, we can hear all the different melody compositions, all of which are inspired by Lil Dirt type beats and melodies. I'll go ahead and play some of the samples that you can find in this sample pack. Let's go ahead and pick a sample and we'll begin the beat making process. In this video, we'll be using down the block sample. So I'm gonna set the BPM to our session to 155 beats per minute, which is the beats per minute for the sample. So let's go ahead and drag all these samples inside there. I'm noticing some timing issues with the piano sample. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that and add the MIDI and we'll go ahead and use a piano VST in order to get the piano sound that we want. Sometimes using loops, there is some timing or looping issues. That's why we're gonna be using the MIDI. So for the piano, I'm using the Piano 5 plugin from Arturia. Like I said, if you guys wanna get the VSTs that I'm using, I'll put a link to all the VSTs in the description of this video. So I'm just changing some master settings to that piano, maybe some of the mic setups, just to get a, a sound that I feel like will capture that little Dirk, little baby sound a little bit better. Just sounds a little too flat. We can do more in the mixing channel as well. But here you can see the MIDI that we have. The MIDI was kind of soft, so I'm gonna randomize the velocity by using Alt-R. All right, so now if we play it all together, we can still hear that the piano is still a little bit quiet. I'm gonna grab all the instruments and put them in the master bus by doing Control-Shift-L. Shift E to select everything. Control Shift to select all the master instances or mixer instances, I should say. I'm gonna pull up that piano melody a little bit more, adjust some of the mixing on these instruments. I like to mix as I go or just make slight adjustments because I already have a sort of an idea of what I'm trying to go for. So if I hear that I need to pull up the instruments or create more room, I'll go ahead and do that. So once I get all the mixing or just a decent amount of the mixing, I'm gonna go ahead and start structuring this beat with the melodies that we have in our playlist. So this is just the early stages of structuring this beat. So let's go ahead and add the drums for what we would put as the drop. I'm gonna create an instance that has all the MIDI. So if I need to reference the MIDI more specifically for the 808 and bass, then I can look at what the bass line keys were. I'm gonna go inside in Viral's Fractal Drum Kit. I love in Viral's Drum Kit because it has some incredible sounding drums. I highly recommend it. You can get this drum kit over at beatat.com as well. I believe the Giga Clap is one of my favorite claps. It just has a really good sound. Control L in the piano roll will allow you to stretch the notes and Control A will select them. So let's go ahead and move that over to the other half. Go ahead and start adding some other drum elements, hi-hats, percussive elements, because in a lot of Lil Dirk's beats, he has some other drum elements other than just the clap and kick. Typically a rim and maybe some other percussive elements.
section. I think it'll be a cool transition leading back into the chorus. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch that so it's time bound. Go ahead and put it in our mixer bus. You could track it instead of just doing the control shift L. I'm gonna go ahead and right click the hi-hats and you can just fill every two step. I find that doing the fill every two step is a quick way to just get the hi-hat, the basic hi-hat pattern uh, established. And then from there, we can go ahead and make it a little bit more uh, specified. If you guys wanna know how to do the drill or like the quick chops, you can just select the note and Alt U. Shift E will allow you to select, uh, pull up the select cursor or select tool. Gonna copy some of these notes, hold shift and drag, and you can copy whatever you're trying to drag over. Shift E. If you change the velocity of the notes, you can get some cool sounding uh, hi-hats. So by changing the velocity in this case, you can hear them like glide up. So what I'm going to be doing is just doing some more hi-hat chops, shift E, alt U, you can do more of the chops and cuts. If you guys want to know a quick way to duplicate one half over to the other half, it's control B. So you just need to select the top timeline of that loop or playlist section and then control B and it'll just duplicate it over. So let's go ahead and add some percussive drum elements. Just adding in some of those hi-hats, some backup hi-hats. Change the velocity, control B, duplicate it over. Control shift L, we can then have all of the selected elements in our playlist or looper mode and put them into our mixer mode. Or I should say mixer track. I'm gonna raise that piano. And now if you guys also want to, an easy way of EQing something is just using the arm board EQ. You don't even need to add any plugin instance to it. So I'm gonna do some adjustments to the piano and the inboard EQ. And that inboard EQ is only on each slot, so it's not affecting everything, unless if I was doing it on the master bus. So let's start adding some kicks. What we're gonna do with these kicks is also duplicate the kicks and put them in our 808 patch as a way of building out that 808 pattern. I like to have my 808s and kicks matching, but right now we're just figuring out that kick pattern. All right, let's duplicate that kick pattern. Now let's pick an 808. I'm, I'm grabbing the 808 out of the AT Sound Kit 6. If you guys want that sound kit or sample pack as well, I'll put the link in the description for that. So here I'm gonna reference that baseline melody that's in the MIDI folder. And I'm gonna use that to figure out the keys that the bass is hitting on. Now, before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's change the envelope of the 808. The envelope will allow us to dictate how that sample is reacting every time it is pressed. Right now, every time it's pressed, it's going to keep playing. We want it to stop once the key is not being pressed. So that we can change the ADSR or attack, delay, sustain, and release. Track it in our mixer. Track the kick. Now let's see how that 808 is. Let's move it to like appropriate keys. We can look at the keys of that bass line and reference it. So A, G, F. Very easy. All right, let's select everything, drag it over. Shift E, Shift P. 
I right, let's move these uh, midis to a different track and I will just name this one as the 808s and we'll name this one as like the midi we'll keep this just for reference this is just the midi instances of that synth all right there we go let's place it in the playlist it's not gonna play anything because it's just midi they're not playing through any vsts like i said that's just gonna be for reference in case if we need it again now i think it should drop sooner so let's just move everything so i'm gonna i'm gonna use that one section as like a bridge before we go back into the chorus again so let's build out the verse section so shift e shift p drag it over and what we can do is make uh, unique drum instances. So I'm gonna insert a channel and then make unique drum patterns. Get rid of some of these elements. Simplify the hi-hat pattern. So removing those hi-hat chops and then just uh, fill in every two step. Let's make uh, another unique drum instance. Change some of the elements around. grab that kick so there won't be a kick in the first one now let's loop that uh, chorus section over now we're kind of getting the structure of the beat all right shift p all right let's go ahead and label you can do Control m to start labels I like to label my beat just so I have a clear vision of what it is and looks like and if someone else was pulling up this FLP they would know and also I feel like it would help you guys following along. So put an outro out there, we'll grab some of the melodic elements and loop them for that outro. Shift E, Shift P, let's grab that bass line, I think that bass line would be kind of fire for the end. Now let's also fade out the outro so create an automation clip on that master bus copy the end value paste it there insert a new one let's just move some stuff shift up move those uh, transitions we're pretty much done let's add our tag track it I have a little mixer preset for it I'm gonna have to make some small adjustments for it though. So let's go ahead and put that. Give it a play. Sounds pretty good. We're gonna have to make some mixing tweaks just to get it sounding a little bit better. I'm just doing it by what I think sounds good, playing it by ear. Let's add some EQs, parametric EQ is fine. We're doing this on the 808 right now. Just trying to get some a little bit more beef out of it. Nothing OD. Very small, very small tweaks. The sample's already sounding great. Let's just mono the kick in 808. May not sound uh, much different just because the samples are already monoed, but. Just doing the kick. This is a parametric EQ on that kick. Very slight changes. So let's add a camel crusher to that 808. I, I think distortion on 808s is like needed for hip hop. It just gets that tone and texture in that bass that sounds really nice. Also makes it easier to hear it on speakers. So let's add a little bit more distortion. We turned down that compression, turned the volume all the way up. Now let's add a little bit more compression. Don't want to overdo it. Very easy to overdo it with Camel Crusher. Very slight tweaks. So we're going to add a little bit of EQing to some of the instruments. We're just trying to cut out that bass. No competing frequencies with that 808. You don't want to overdo it. Just do it till you barely hear it. Just making some very slight adjustments. Pull down that hi hat. I'm gonna 
select everything and pull it all down together. We're going to start moving on to that master bus. I like to put a little sound goodizer on there, very little. Kind of use it as a saturation compression. Now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and start adding some of the stuff that I love doing. A little EQ on that master. Just rounding off some bad frequencies. Stuff that you can't really even hear. Alright, so I like to use the Abbey Rhodes mastering chain. Doing a little bit of a spreader. And I like using uh, a specific tape EQ for that first uh, group of settings. I find that the Abbey Rhodes mastering chain has a nice and really crisp, specific sound to it, which is why I've been using it as of recently. For the Ozone Maximizer, I'm gonna just use it more as a way of a final level of compression. I don't want to overdo it. You know, this is a beat. The idea is there's gonna be an artist on top of this, so I don't want to crunch it too much. Don't want to over compress it. Don't want to limit it. So let's do a little bit of EQ adjustments in that Abbey Rhodes mastering chain. A little bit more spreader. Yeah, we're pretty much getting there. Let's adjust some of these mixed levels for that kicking 808. That kick could probably be replaced with a better one. All right, and let's play the beat. This is the final version of the beat. Making some small changes, last minute changes. So leave a comment, give us a like, visit beta8t.com. Links to everything is in the description down below. This is Andrew of Beta8t, and I'll see you guys later.